but man, are they dangerous. Well, and yeah, maybe melting here. even quicker because of how hot mm -hmm. it's been, Kristen. And that lack of snowpack, too. Right. So yeah. it's just all just culminating up there that way. Hey, remember when I was talking about the number of 90 degree days? So get this. Uh, we are already in the top 10 for the number of 90 degree days. And mm -hmm. we are just in the beginning of July, already in the top 10. And we have so much more time mm -hmm. to heat things up around there. I know we're all ready for some relief. I think we'll get some soon. And we may even get a little bit of rain. A lot of folks have been asking me, so how long has it been? What is rain? I haven't seen rain in forever. So I did want to put things in perspective. So we're not as bad off when it comes to the number of consecutive days without any rain here in Portland as we have seen. This is a look at the top five. So we, we've had a stretch. Back in 1967, where we went 71 days in a row with no rain, no measurable rain anyway, and then number five at 53. So where do we compare to that? Uh, so far, we have today makes number 35, and so we're ranked at about 31st on that list. So uh, it's not as bad as it could be. It's still very dry, and like I said earlier, there is a chance we may be able to break that streak as we go through the next few days. A slight chance, but there is a chance. I'll talk more about that in a second. Right now, it's back to 90 again in Portland, so it's another hot one out there. West side in the low to mid 90s. Check out these numbers: 94 in Lake Oswego, back towards Forest Grove. We're in the low 90s, uh, upper 80s downtown, but more 90s up towards Battleground. 90 in Portland, back towards Washougal. In the mid 80s, there, so a little bit better there. Tonight, another mild night, mainly in the low 60s, though, so we're still staying above average. Our normal low is 55, so we are way above that, and our normal high is around 79, so we're way above that, too, but we're going to get back to normal this weekend. Fire danger continues to be an issue, especially east of the Cascades, where thunderstorms have been popping up each afternoon. Gradually, we're seeing these thunderstorms develop a little bit farther and farther north, and so tomorrow, we're going to be looking at that potential up near even government camp, that area for some of these thunderstorms to develop. But right now, uh, mainly just west of Bend and firing through the Cascades, heading to the west. Nothing severe at this point, but tons of lightning. And with how dry it is, it's just really scary to think about any of those lightning strikes starting any wildfire. So watching that really closely. You can see this broad area of low pressure kind of circulating here down to our south. That's going to be traveling back to the north. And so that's why tomorrow afternoon, once things start to heat back up again, we're going to be watching for that potential for some of these storms uh, to develop a little bit farther north. And and since they're going to be heading in that westerly direction, maybe in the valley, we can catch some of that rain as they roll off the Cascades. So tomorrow morning, we start off at 7.30. We're in the 60s. We'll have the morning cloud cover around again. We go into the afternoon. Uh, by noon, we're in the mid-70s. We're seeing more sunshine, so it's warming up fairly quickly. We go into the afternoon, and then that's when we're going to watch for those thunderstorms to develop along the Cascades. Still staying dry for the valley. It's going to be another warm day with temperatures approaching 90, but with enough cloud cover, I think most of us will be limited to the upper 80s. Still warm, but doing a little bit better there. And then overnight, as those showers continue to develop, you can see that slight chance that some of those try to make it into the valley. So most of us won't see the rain, but there's that, the potential that we could, that some of us actually could see some of that by early Friday morning. Then we get into Friday, and we're talking some very much needed relief. We'll have the clouds lingering for a lot of the day. Look at this. This is 3.30 afternoon. Friday, and we're looking at temperatures in the upper 70s, and we'll be, uh, we may even be hard pressed to hit 80 degrees, and it looks even better than that for the weekend. So, your forecast for the coast, upper 60s tomorrow, a lot of cloud cover, fog in the morning, and then mainly cloudy for the afternoon. Upper 80s for I 5, partly cloudy, and then clearing out for the afternoon. Central and eastern Oregon, still back to the 90s for many of us. Storm chances once again, and then your forecast for the Cascades, watching for storm chances there too. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be hot back through the gorge again, 91 and Hood River, the in the upper 90s there too. Seven day forecast here. One more day up near 90, and then Friday the relief arrives with more clouds around too. We'll get, we'll get a break from some of that sunshine. Upper 70s Saturday and Sunday going into next week. We're back into uh, the 80s, starting to warm up towards midweek. So we get a nice little stretch of cooler weather. Even at night, we're talking lows back into the 50s. You can always follow this, the fire weather. Uh, we even have earthquake data for you on our PDX weather app. Uh, you can download that for free. But yes, the stretch is moving on in. We just have one more day to get mm. through. I can't wait for some cooler uh, weather to move yeah. in and some clouds too, you know? I think we all. Yes, we know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what else I like what going. Kristen does though is you really put things into perspective oh, for us. So while it feels Kind of bad for a while when you mm -hmm. look at history, or maybe not as worse. It could be worse. It's fun to find like something positive yeah. to talk yeah. about, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that too about Thanks, you. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah.